I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait, young Mr. Spooner, before his alarm call. Mr. Spooner, why? Where is he? Uh, sleeping behind the counter. <laughs> Due to the firm's intransigence about paying travel money, despite the increased fares, Mr. Spooner has taken the kipper behind the counter from time to time to save money. Oh, good morning, Mr. Rumbold. <laughs> Mr. Spooner, staff are not supposed to stay in the store overnight. Quite apart from which, we open in nearly ten minutes. Well, on my wages, I can't afford to go home and get here again. <laughs> but don't worry. I'll now three minutes for my breakfast, three minutes for my ablutions, and two minutes to get dressed. Then I'm all yours. <laughs> Ta-da. <Cool. laughs> Seems odd that other members of staff don't have the same problem. Don't you believe it? all the way. I felt I was pulling a lot of weight behind me. Not to mention a lot she'd been pushing in front of her. <laughs> yes, I was, but I get nervous when I can't see where we're going. So tomorrow I'm going to ride on the front. It's my bike. You'll go where you're told. Mrs Slocum, I, I hope you're insured. This looks most unsafe to me. Well, it's the cheapest transport I could find. And with these high fares, I have to economise. So I had no idea things were as bad as that. Well, they are. Mr Harmon, yeah. I wonder, when you have a moment, could you have a look at my seat? I think it's a bit low. <laughs> yes, I can see that. <laughs> and I can raise the saddle on your bike, too, if you like. <laughs> Thing. Why not? She bandied everything else. <laughs> Would you like my pump up your proboscis? Are you trying to put the wind up me? <laughs> yes, Mr. Harmon, be about your business. Oh, park it in the fitting room, Miss Brown. Yes, Mrs. Slocum. <laughs> No, Mr. Humphreys, and uh, <laughs> I take it that you too have been avoiding expense by not using public transport? Oh, no, no. I use them all the time. I hang on to the backs of buses as much as I can. <laughs> so, as a matter of fact, I got two speeding tickets in a week. That sounds most dangerous. Oh, don't you believe it? Do you know, only the other day, yesterday it was, I, one of my wheels came off right where there was a double yellow line. Well, I was just bending down to tighten my nuts when a police... <laughs> this policeman came up to me, he put a sticker on my helmet and tried to clamp me. 